Are you sure you know the truth about glaucoma? What if some of the things you've heard about this common eye condition aren't just off the mark but might actually be putting your vision at risk? Glaucoma is often called the silent thief of sight, and as we age, it becomes even more of a concern. But here's the problem. So many myths about glaucoma are floating around that it's easy to feel confused or complacent. Whether you've heard that only people with high eye pressure get it or that it can be cured with the right treatment, these misconceptions can prevent people from taking their eye health seriously or getting the proper care they need. By the end of this video, you'll have a clearer understanding of what glaucoma really is, and isn't, and how you can take steps to protect your eyes. In today's video, we're going to bust open 7 of the biggest myths about glaucoma. Because understanding the real facts about glaucoma can make a huge difference in how you protect your vision, especially as you get older. When myths persist, they can lead to risky misunderstandings, causing people to ignore important symptoms or avoid necessary checkups. And here's something worth noting. Glaucoma doesn't always give obvious warning signs. It's a progressive condition that can sneak up on you, sometimes without any symptoms until significant vision loss has already occurred. From the widespread belief that glaucoma only affects seniors to the myth that lost vision can be restored, we're going to debunk these and more. So stick around, because the truth about glaucoma might just surprise you, and it could help save your sight. Let's get started. Myth number one. Glaucoma only affects people with high eye pressure. Many people think that glaucoma only affects those with high eye pressure, but that's just one part of the story. While high intraocular pressure is indeed a risk factor, it's not the sole determinant of whether someone will develop glaucoma. Think of it like high blood pressure, while it raises the risk of heart disease, it's not a guarantee. Similarly, high eye pressure raises the risk of glaucoma, but some people with normal eye pressure still develop the condition, while others with elevated pressure may never experience any vision loss. The real issue lies in how glaucoma affects the optic nerve, which transmits visual information from the eye to the brain. When this nerve is damaged, vision loss occurs, and while high pressure can contribute to this damage, it's not the only factor. Some optic nerves are simply more sensitive than others, meaning that one person with low pressure might still be at risk, while another with higher pressure may not be. This is why regular comprehensive eye exams are so essential. They assess more than just eye pressure, examining the overall health of the optic nerve and other crucial factors. For those over 50, especially with a family history of glaucoma, these exams are key to catching early signs and taking steps to protect vision. So if you've been told your eye pressure is normal, don't assume you're off the hook, and if it's high don't panic. With proactive eye care, you can keep your vision healthy. Now let's move on to another widespread myth, that glaucoma only affects the elderly. Myth number two, glaucoma only happens to the elderly. Many people see glaucoma as an older person's condition, assuming it only strikes later in life, just like other age-related eye issues. But here's the twist, while the risk does indeed increase with age, glaucoma doesn't wait for retirement. In fact, it can develop much earlier, sometimes in your 40s, 30s, or even younger for those with certain risk factors. A family history of glaucoma is one of the biggest red flags. If a parent or sibling has it, you're at higher risk and should consider starting regular eye exams early on. Ethnicity also plays a role. African, Hispanic, and Asian communities face higher risks for specific types of glaucoma, making awareness especially vital. This myth that only seniors need to worry about glaucoma can be dangerous, as it leads many younger adults to delay or overlook routine eye care, thinking they'll deal with it later. But imagine catching early signs of glaucoma in your 30s or 40s, giving yourself years, maybe even decades, to manage it and preserve your vision. That's the power of early awareness. So, if glaucoma runs in your family or you're simply committed to safeguarding your eye health, make those regular exams a priority. And don't keep it to yourself. If you have kids or grandkids in their 20s or 30s, let them know about the importance of early screenings too. Eye health is a gift, and one conversation could make a lifelong difference for them. And speaking of early awareness, let's move on to another myth. Does glaucoma always show symptoms from the start? Myth number three. Glaucoma always causes symptoms in early stages. A common belief about glaucoma is that it always announces itself with noticeable symptoms early on. Maybe a bit of blurred vision, eye pain, or some other obvious red flag. But here's the truth. Glaucoma often sneaks up without any warning signs at all, especially in its early stages, earning it the nickname the silent thief of sight. You could go years thinking everything is fine, 
not realizing that your optic nerve is slowly being damaged. It's a bit like termites eating away at the structure of a house. By the time you notice, significant damage may already be done. This silent nature leads many to believe they'll know when to worry, which can be a dangerous assumption. Without regular eye exams, you might not catch glaucoma until it has already begun to impact your vision permanently. Once vision is lost, it can't be recovered, which is why early detection through routine eye checks is essential for preserving eye health. These exams don't just assess your vision, they look at the health of your optic nerve, revealing changes you'd never notice on your own. So if you're over 50, make those regular eye exams a part of your health routine, and if you're already on top of this, you're ahead of the game. Protecting your vision isn't just about today, it's an investment in your long-term quality of life. And now, while we're talking about treatment, let's explore another myth that gives people false hope. Can glaucoma actually be cured? Myth number 4. Glaucoma can be cured. A common misunderstanding about glaucoma is the belief that it can be cured, just find the right treatment, and it's gone. As hopeful as this sounds, glaucoma isn't something you can simply fix and forget. Instead, it's a condition that can be managed effectively, but it can't be completely cured. Think of it like managing high blood pressure or diabetes. With consistent care, you can keep it under control, slow its progression, and protect your vision, but there isn't a magic cure. The reason lies in the nature of the damage glaucoma causes. Glaucoma affects the optic nerve, and once this delicate nerve tissue is damaged, it can't be restored. Treatments such as eye drops, laser therapy, and even surgery are designed to reduce eye pressure, which helps prevent further harm, but they can't reverse any vision loss that's already occurred. This makes consistent treatment and regular checkups essential for anyone with glaucoma. If you've ever felt frustrated by the daily routine of eye drops or those regular trips to the eye doctor, remember that each step you take is preserving the sight you still have, a long-term investment in your quality of life. Thanks to modern eye care advancements, many people with glaucoma can still lead full, active lives and keep their vision stable for years. The key? Sticking to the treatment plan your doctor recommends, even if it feels inconvenient at times. And if you know someone with glaucoma, encourage them to see their treatment as essential, not optional. Now while we're on the subject of treatment, let's explore the next common myth. Is it true that eye drops are the only treatment option for glaucoma? Let's dig into that next. Myth number 5. Only eye drops can treat glaucoma. When people think of treating glaucoma, they usually picture a little bottle of eye drops, and for good reason, eye drops are indeed a primary treatment method, as they help lower eye pressure to prevent further damage to the optic nerve. However, here's where the myth kicks in, eye drops are not the only option for glaucoma management. In fact, there's a range of treatments available, and the best choice depends on an individual's needs, the type of glaucoma they have, and how advanced it is. Take laser therapy, for instance. This procedure, often done in an outpatient setting, uses lasers to improve fluid drainage in the eye, which helps lower pressure and can sometimes reduce or eliminate the need for daily eye drops. Then there's surgery, typically reserved for cases where eye drops and lasers don't suffice. In surgical treatments, doctors create new drainage channels in the eye to control pressure more effectively. For those who may struggle with eye drops due to side effects or difficulty with regular application, these options can be a game changer. This myth serves as a good reminder, glaucoma treatment isn't a one-size-fits-all deal, it's about finding the right approach for each person's unique situation. If you or someone you know is currently relying on eye drops but finding them challenging, it's worth discussing other treatments with an eye doctor. Understanding these choices is part of effective glaucoma awareness and eye health education, helping people make informed decisions about their care. And speaking of what really impacts glaucoma, Let's tackle another widespread misconception. Is glaucoma truly hereditary, or does family history not matter? Let's dig into that next. Myth number 6. Glaucoma is not hereditary. A common misconception about glaucoma is that it isn't hereditary, leading people to believe it's purely age-related or just a random condition. But here's the reality. Family history plays a significant role in glaucoma risk. If a close relative, like a parent or sibling, has been diagnosed with glaucoma, your own chances of developing it increase considerably. This myth often leads people to overlook or underestimate their risk simply because they don't think it runs in the family. But just like we take extra precautions if heart disease or diabetes is common in the family, 
we should do the same for eye health. Even if you haven't noticed any symptoms, it's wise to start regular eye exams early if glaucoma has impacted your family. Early awareness can make a world of difference, as catching glaucoma in its initial stages can slow down its progression and preserve vision for years to come. And this isn't just advice for yourself. Encouraging family members to get checked is equally crucial. By sharing this knowledge, you're not only protecting your own eyesight but helping loved ones stay vigilant and informed about a potentially sight-stealing condition. So if glaucoma is in your family tree, don't skip those routine exams, even if your vision feels perfect. And if you're unsure of your family history, it's a good time to ask relatives. Knowledge is power here, not just for yourself but for everyone you care about. Now let's address one last myth that many hold on to, the belief that any vision loss to glaucoma can be restored. Does it hold any truth? Let's dig in. Myth number 7. Vision lost from glaucoma can be restored. The idea that vision lost from glaucoma can be restored is a hopeful yet misleading myth. Many people understandably believe that if they lose sight due to glaucoma, there must be a way to recover it, through surgery, medication, or some miracle breakthrough. However, once glaucoma has damaged the optic nerve and destroyed those delicate nerve fibers, the vision loss is irreversible. Think of it like a fragile wire connecting your eye to your brain. Once that wire is damaged, it can't be repaired or replaced. But there's a silver lining. While we can't bring back what's already gone, we can prevent further vision loss with the right treatment and regular monitoring. This is why early detection through routine eye exams is so essential. Catching glaucoma before it progresses can mean the difference between stable vision and significant loss. For those who've already lost some vision, Treatment still plays a crucial role by protecting what remains. It's not about reversing the past, it's about securing the future. Imagine having the power to stop glaucoma from worsening, that's the goal of ongoing care. So if you or someone you love has glaucoma, don't lose hope, focus on preserving the sight that's still there. And for those who haven't yet experienced any vision loss, proactive eye care and regular checkups are your best defenses. While glaucoma can't be reversed, Today's advancements make it possible to prevent further damage and maintain quality of life. Now let's wrap up with a quick recap of these 7 myths and why debunking them is so vital to keeping your vision strong. Let's do a quick recap of the 7 glaucoma myths we busted today, and why knowing the truth can make a big difference for your eye health. First up, we tackled the myth that only people with high eye pressure get glaucoma, but as we've seen, normal pressure doesn't guarantee you're in the clear. Next, there's the misconception that glaucoma only affects the elderly. In reality, it can strike much earlier, especially if there's a family history. Another dangerous myth is that glaucoma always causes early symptoms. Unfortunately, it often progresses silently, making regular exams essential. We also cleared up the idea that glaucoma can be cured. While we'd all love a cure, the truth is that it can only be managed, not reversed. And speaking of management, eye drops aren't the only treatment, laser therapy and surgery are alternatives worth considering. Then there's the belief that glaucoma isn't hereditary, but family history does increase your risk, making it wise to stay vigilant and encourage loved ones to do the same. Finally, while vision loss to glaucoma can't be restored, we can prevent further damage with consistent care and monitoring. So if you're serious about protecting your vision, don't let these myths lead you astray. Armed with these facts, you're in a stronger position to safeguard your eye health and help those around you do the same. Now that you've got the facts, what steps will you take to protect your vision? It's one thing to know the truth about glaucoma myths, but putting this knowledge into action is where the real power lies. Are you keeping up with regular eye exams? Is there someone in your life, a friend, family member, or neighbor, who might benefit from knowing these truths? Sometimes a simple conversation can make all the difference in someone else's eye health journey. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with others who might also benefit, and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell too, so you never miss an update on important health topics like this one. And if you're ready to keep learning and staying proactive about your health, I encourage you to check out the next video on the screen, it's all about practical tips to keep your eyes and overall well-being in top shape.